Hello everyone, I'm Spencer Bennett. I hope you had a great September and are ready for candy and costumes and all things Halloween because it's October. This year I've decided to dress up like Elsa from Frozen. Well, not really, actually. The camera guy said I should say that. Personally, I think I would look better as Olaf. What do you think? On that subject, the city is hosting two different Halloween events happening for you to don your fabulous attire. That means to wear a cool costume. The first event to mention is Truck or Treat, hosted by the Midland Fire Department. This event will be held at the Central Fire Station at 1500 West Wall Street on Saturday, October 24th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. You'll be able to enjoy firefighter-themed games, jumpers, fire prevention, safety tips, and of course, handy. You can learn more at midlandtexas.gov slash truck or treat. Next up is the Halloween Fest. I like that. Halloween Fest. Hosted by the Midland Parks and Recreation Division, this event will be held at the Martin Luther King Jr. Community Center at 2300 Butternut Lane on Thursday, October 29th from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. You can enjoy games, activities, face painting, and yes, candy! So much candy, you'll puke. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> just wanted to say that. If, if that sounds like something you'd enjoy, head on over. For more information, call 685-7355. Block parties on parties on parties. Are you looking for a way to meet your neighbors or to get everyone on the block together? Well, National Night Out is Tuesday, October 6th. It's a great opportunity to make that happen. The block party kickoff will be held at Cimarax Energy Pavilion at 5514 Champions Drive at 4.30 p.m. with the majority of parties starting at 5.30 p.m. This year, over 70 block parties will be happening. Learn more at midlandtexas.gov slash NNO. Maybe you've seen the fancy yellow signs around town, the ones that says, lock it or lose it. The message is simple. Lock your vehicles, hide your personal belongings, or uh, we can't have nice things. But really, last year, more than half of auto burglaries in the city occurred because vehicles were left unlocked. So don't make it easier for those scum-sucking criminals to take your stuff. And if you see something, say something. Take your valuables and secure your cars. Lock it or lose it. And lastly, for more about events happening in Midland, you can check out the city's website and social media. If you'd like to know more about me, you can visit the radio station's website at 979lightfm.com. And once again, I'm Spencer Bennett for Monthly Shorts. Have a great October. We'll see you back here in November, you turkeys.